Hi, in this video, we will understand what are the different parts inside the CPU. So starting with SMPS, which is the power supply. So what it does is it converts your AC into DC and provides the power to different components of the motherboard as well as uh, um, hard drives, CDROM drives and other devices which are attached to your system. So, so we can see we have a Corsair VS550 so it can provide output of about 5 Now talking about the motherboard we can see the make is Intel so the motherboard is of Intel company then there is a processor so processor is hidden or located beneath this fan and there is there is a, a sink heat sink so what happens is the motherboard emits lots of heat and heat sink is is a block of metal which has got lots of surface area so which helps in emitting lots of heat and the cool uh, cooling fan is just to is just to remove the heat from the processor so it makes and it ensures that processor won't burn out or melt down so it cools the processor then we have these cables which are coming out from the SMPS and these are attached to like we can see one is attached over here so this is off this is being attached to ATX CPU and we have another one which is ATX power if we can see it clearly ATX power so these two cables which are coming out from SMPS are directly connected to this one also we can see this is having four pins this is having four pins while th these both we will just try to remove it just to make it clear so there are two um, there are four plus four pins and if you will connect these two together then it, they will form eight so if your processor is having if your motherboard is having 8 pin ATX then you can use it directly or else you can just use 4 pin by disconnecting these two and if you have 6 pin then we have a 6 pin slot as well so this is for 6 pin as you can see there is 6 pin and this is 4 plus 4 8 so there are many SMPS, uh, many um, ATX 4 pin cables and 8 pins. So since this is a slightly older version, so it has got 4 pin. Then we have the power coming from SMPS towards this RAM, uh, towards the hard drive. So we can see this is the power cable. And this is the SATA cable and this is the SATA cable we should ensure that that no cable uh, messes up with with the processor fan because if there is some kind of obstruction with the fan then then it won't cool down properly and then processor might get heat up a lot and it might melt or or even the motherboard can fail so just to be on the safer side always ensure that there is no obstruction to any of the components we can see ram over here located over here so there are about four slots and we have two sticks of rams so each of them is of 4 gb so we have got 8 GB of RAM.
Let's learn how to take out the RAM sticks out from the motherboard and how to insert the sticks. So first step is to is to push the BIS button or towards right and towards left and then just pick it up very softly, gently as you might break a few things if you want take care of them properly so now just take it out so this is how we take out the ram sticks from the computer now insert for inserting it back just ensure that it touches the corner most portion and then just find the gaps and push it with both hands and and pull this lever and one side is kind of tightened and now just press the extreme corner of it and then just push it and now it's locked so these two are locked and this is how we insert the ram inside the channels so the, we call them channels so just read it channel b dim channel a dim so these are the ram slots and this is how we take out the rams from these channels and we insert ram sticks inside the channels this is how we do that so basic components which are very essential are ATX CPU this cable then we have ATX power cable then we have got this is the CMOS battery then we have this is the graphics card slot so this is PCI enhanced one PCI then we have PCI slot this is for adding more um, LAN card, Ethernet card. Nah, so this is basically for PCI enhanced is for graphics card, for addition of graphics card. So basically these are the most critical parts of the system. Well, this is another heat sink. This is the mini heat, heat sink. And this is the hard drive. This is how it looks like. This is one of there is one of the fan, cooling fan. We can see that. We can see the fan. So we can see this is the SATA cable, which is high speed data transfer cable. And we can see about six lots of SATA. So we have got six slot of SATA. Whoa. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see this is the fifth one. So this is how so these were the components which are located inside the computer. So computers are not something which you should be afraid of. Just open it and try to understand what are the different components located inside the computer. And this will ensure that in case you have any problem, you can solve it by yourself. Thank you for watching the video.